Well, welcome to this combined value med and UK drug testing product demonstration video for the new uh, UK drug testing swab cube. This is a six panel drug test plus alcohol. So it screens for seven common drug groups in a single saliva sample. In front of you is the foil wrapping and the contents. Let me just run you through this. Let's start with the foil. UK drug testing CE mark foil in our standard uh, colours and on the rear we've really gone to town to make sure that you've got a full set of instructions both in terms of how to run the test but also how to interpret the results. There's also a sticker here giving you the combination and cutoff sensitivities for each of the six drug groups plus alcohol that you are going to test for with the code numbers, uh, lot numbers and the batch expiry date. On there so when you open this what you get is one of these little cube devices and in a cellophane wrap a swab collector for the saliva also supplied with your test will be a color chart for the saliva alcohol interpretation this is on this pad here on the right hand aspect of the columns as you look at the front of the test a little white pad and you'll see that that corresponds with the negative coloration on the saliva interpretation charts if there is saliva alcohol present you will get a degraded or increasingly strong blue color developing on that pad within two minutes and that can be read from between two to five minutes it will fix and can be read as late as eight to ten minutes so this is the test cube ready to go you get it out of the foil just before you're ready to do the test you'll see marked on the front are indicative areas for the control lines and one and two where you may have a combination of uh, control lines and test lines on a single column but these are all single tests cannabis cocaine six man which is specific test for heroin and will differentiate from codeine and other opiates amphetamine mdma which is your ecstasy and ketamine so a good combination a modern combination for saliva workplace drug screening in a younger demographic which are out partying etc and you want to screen particularly for cocaine uh, ecstasy and ketamine so the swab cube is a firm collector on a uh, stalk as you can see here very rigid and it's impossible to discharge that or fit these two together while it's dry the process that you follow for testing is to get the donor not to have anything to eat or drink for at least 10 minutes ideally 20 minutes then ask them to with their tongue lick the top of the front teeth top of the bottom teeth front and back so inner and outer aspects of the teeth and then to lap the base of the mouth for about three or four times until they build a pool of saliva up in the mouth and then ask them to introduce this swab collector into the mouth and saturate it fully with saliva and once it's softened slightly ask them then to move the swab around the inner aspects of the mouth on the cheeks front and bottom of the teeth and the tongue and the base of the mouth and then to keep it in the mouth for around three to four minutes until it's completely saturated with saliva so we're going to do that now and show you how to assemble this test now this swab has been all around the mouth for around two to three minutes don't rush the collection of the saliva sample and make sure that you rub it really well on the buccal membranes and inside of the mouth all around very gently but very comprehensively to collect any deposits of drugs that are still in the oral cavity and when it's done it should be soft and quite squishy now I'm going to assemble this test with the cube in an upright position just introduce the swab and push down firmly and that will on the rear dispatch the saliva from the swab into the base of the test and you can see there's excess saliva in there which will then start running these tests and you can just see these lateral flow membranes starting to absorb the saliva upwards you now need to start a clock and we're going to read this test at the manufacturer's recommended read time of around five to ten minutes but as I say, if you want to interpret the alcohol result earlier than that, you can do from two minutes. What I'm going to do now is stop this video and talk you through the results showing on this swab cube at five minutes. 
Well, at five minutes, you can see that this saliva test has run very well indeed. I'm going to show you how to interpret this alcohol pad here. Again, you're just looking for any colour change in this blue range to match the nearest colour combination. If there's alcohol present, it will give you a guide in terms of the uh, level of alcohol that it has detected. But then we're looking for these control and test lines. Now, all six of the drug tests have got nice control lines across them and all six have got test lines indicating negative results. If we had a positive result we would have a control line but the complete absence of a test line showing at eight minutes. Now it isn't important that you give it a full eight minutes development time for that test line to develop but if the test lines and control lines have shown up much earlier say two or three minutes they're not going to disappear and go. So you can interpret that as a clear negative result as early as two to three minutes. And if you want to do that and read the results that early, you can, but do allow eight minutes development for a test line to form. So there you have it, six drugs screened plus alcohol in a simple, easy to perform swab cube test. Very easy to use, nice and simple design, easy to dispose of in normal commercial waste and includes the alcohol test very easy and accurate results in the order of between 97 or 99 percent compared to the laboratory tests. We do sell a range of laboratory confirmation screens for workplace screenings should you wish to move to a laboratory chain of custody confirmation for any non-negative results. This test is available from the UK Drug Testing ValueMed and Drug Testing Kit websites. We'll pop links in below taking you through to where this test kit is currently available on sale from the UK. Thanks for watching.